Morning, it's Patsy. Um, a horrible, wet, miserable day today. I hope the lighting is okay because it is pouring it down out there. It's still really clammy though. The, the weather's crazy for the middle of October. Yesterday, I think we got up to something like 26 degrees around here. Normally, it's at least 10 to 15 degrees lower than that for this time of year. So it's really sticky and like I said, this rain today has made a real damp, miserable day. So yesterday I did my five oracles that I thought I'd love but I didn't. Today I'm going to do my five oracles. They're not necessarily um, my favourites at the minute because I'm loving my new ones that I've got. I've added a few new ones lately but I'm not using those um, in this video because the ones that I've chosen are the ones that I've had a good while um, but I keep going back to. So I love them for that reason. Um, the, the ones that I've got lately, like the Kyle Gray um, new one and um, the Spirit Animal yesterday, I showed um, Blessed Be, the Alice Wonderland and um, the Moonology. I'm, I'm enjoying all of those, but I didn't use those because over time I don't know whether I'll carry on using them. These ones, like I said, have stood the test of time. So I've chose them for that reason and I do love them. And I must do us so wouldn't keep going back. So the first one that I'm going to show you is one that I've had an awful long time. The Earth Magic Oracle Card by Stephen D. Farmer. Most of you have probably seen these. You get a good little thick book, but I don't really use that because sometimes I find that the books can confuse and if, you can, if I can get the message from the cards themselves through you know through the intuition um and the keyword then i don't tend to read the book because it'll only confuse me i just go with what i feel with them so that's the backs they're um a good quality card um a little bit shiny but they don't they don't stick or create too much problem um i'll show you a few i'm sure you've all seen them but i'll just show you a few of them this is one of my favourites, I love wolves. I just love the energy of these cards and like I said, the one that I get out time and time again. I haven't used them for a while, I must admit, but I know that they're ones that I will go back to. So there, at my number five, that's the Earth Magic Oracle by Stephen D. Farmer. So that's one I've had for a while, like I say. The next one I'm going to show you is, I don't know if you can see that in this light, Earth Wisdom. Now these ones um, are by Barbara Moore and the artwork is by Christina Gagliotti. Um, when I use oracles, I very often just use them as um, a one card clarifier or my day as the book, or my card of the day. Um, and these ones are actually only supposed to be used as one card. They, they sort of say the one card will answer you, you don't need any more. So when I just want to do a one card draw, these ones I've each do. I absolutely love the back of these and I love the artwork. But I do use the book as well for these, um, and I'll show you why. I mean, I'll show you some of the images. With these ones, there's a lot of symbology in the actual images itself. But when you go to the book, as well as a short message, and I like the fact that they are only a short message and not two or three pages long, um, you get a short message but then, um, I absolutely love, really love this one. You also get um, a plant and a crystal that will aid you in whatever you need help with at that particular time. So I quite like that. Um, let's see if you can see that. But these, are, I love the images. I, I think they're beautiful. Very Celtic, very Celtic 
dictated um, style, which I do like. So, you know, um, so for this one, for example, I don't know if I show you this one, it's a bit dark, but that one is Divine Protection. So if I go to the Divine Protection, um, I mean, this book has got different languages in, you, you know, the only um, page it goes up to with in English is page 37. So you know there are only short messages. Um, but that card that I just showed you, Divine Protection, this one. There we go. It says, um, sometimes we are required to go where, an, where angels and perhaps even fairies fear to tread. Before heading into the deep, dark unknown, surround yourself with divine protection. Create a circle of light around yourself, drawing a protective energy from all around. Connect to your higher source and ask for divine loving guidance. And then it tells you Angelica enhances divine protection, spiritual guidance, love and healing. And the andalusite, sometimes called fairy stones, can form a circle of protection. So it gives you a stone and a, a plant, etc., that helps aid the message. So I quite like that. So then one number four, because like I said, that is one that I, I, I do use most days, actually. I do pull myself a card with those most days simply because I love the images and I love the message and, and the um, other bits that they give you. The next one that I'm going to show you is Tony Kaman, Kamine, Sir, I can't better say his name, Salerno. Um, I've got two of his decks here, but this is the first one. I've had this a good while, a couple of years, but this is one that I'll go back to on over and over. Angels, gods and goddesses. Four to five oracle cards and guidebook. So there's a thin guidebook. But I love his artwork and I love the messages. I mean, this one gives you spreads, etc. as well. But oh, there's the backs of them. But again, you don't all, you know, the key phrase at the, um, on the card actually gives you enough to work on with your intuition and with the images to not even, um, I mean they have got a bit of nudity in, um, but <coughs> again they're a little bit shiny but they don't really stick or nothing, um, but I find the messages really clear, very healing and uh, very gentle. This is a beautiful, beautiful image. And like I said again, there is nudity in this one, and this one's a beautiful, beautiful card. And God of the Underworld also, I love that one too. So there is, you know, there is images of angels in there, but it's also goddesses and gods as well. So it's not just an angel deck, it, it is a mixture. But like I said, I do love this artwork and I find the messages really clear. And um, I, I just love this deck. This is just one, one of my go-to decks. So that's my number three. My number four is again, a Tony Carmine Salerno, <sighs> Salerno deck, which is the Gaia Oracle. I've had this a while and oh, it's a blue angel box, um, deck, again you get your little guide book. Again the cards, because they're blue angel I suppose, are that shiny glossy finish that you know, it's typical cards. Um, this is the guidance, affirmations and transformations, there's the back, beautiful backs, but well, they're, they're, they're actually Beautiful, and again, I don't always need the guidebook for these because I get so much from the images and from that key phrase at the bottom. Again, this one does have some some nudity, but again, I just love love this deck. Love the, the messages they give. I love the images. I just, I mean, I do have other decks. That he's done also um, that 
I do use as well, but these are the ones that I probably use more than the others. But I am a huge fan of his artwork and his um his cards. So this, like I said, is Gaia the Oracle, Gaia Oracle. And again, like I said, there is nudity. If that does bother you, look at the beautiful Zen Garden. Lovely. Sacred Journey card is a beautiful card. Stops. So, there we go. So that's my number two in my list of five go-to decks. And uh, my last one is um, a bit different. I use it as um, an oracle. Um, I have used it as an eating as well, um, but I prefer just to use it as an oracle. I'll get a lot of it if it's an oracle. It's a 64 card, um, and it's from the creator of Osho Zen, and it's from Mardiva Padma, and it's the Dao Oracle. In a good book, oh, I'll take the box. You get a good, good book. <laughs> and if you do use the YouTube, there is like a, a thing on the back of how you go to be find, you know, the different things. Um, and like I said, I have used it as that, but they work just as well as um, an, an oracle. Um, on each card you'll see you get like these symbols and then the Yijin symbols on that side. Um, and it, it, it's fully explained in the book about how you find, you know, the path and whatever you're using that. But like I said, you can use these just as oracles. And there was the backing of them, absolutely gorgeous. And the cardstock is, is matte. And they're lovely. I love these cards. Such good quality card stock. And again, I don't use the book because you've got the T words at the bottom, and the pictures are just amazing. So you can get what you need to from those alone. And I find these work absolutely beautiful. But I don't see many people using them. Kelly of um, Truth and Story was where I saw these cards and what made me go out and buy them. I know that these are one that she likes. Um, and I know she studies I Ching in factory as well, but I don't believe she uses them for the I Ching. She just uses them as her novels. But I adore these cards. I just love love the messages, love them, the accuracy of them. They're very gentle, but they tell you what you need to know. And like I said, I have done the, um, gone fully into the book and actually done them um, as they explained in there. And they worked that way too, but they work, they gave the same message, just pulling cards as an oracle. So that's, I've just used them as an oracle. Look how stunning that card is and you know you can just tell by the images what that message is and like I said so I absolutely don't look that beautiful that is stunning so like I said um, these are my favourite go-to um, oracle I absolutely love them um, and like I said, that, that's the Dow Oracle. They shuffle like a dream. The card stock's amazing. And the messages they give are, are, are lovely. Um, and there is plenty to be reading if you'd like to have a good read of books of decks that you've got. And like I said, you can use them as a Yijin. So that is my number one deck, and I absolutely adore that. So thank you for watching. And um, I enjoyed showing you my five top ones. Um, I've got that many oracles. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna, which ones I was gonna choose. So, in the end, I, I just went for them as that I would normally just go to my bookshelf and grab when I wanted a quick card or, or to use um, after a reading, etc. 
so there's wisdom ones that we showed you so i'll see you soon thank you for watching bye